Hello and welcome to RMW Shane Game 2. I will go on this, gonna thoughts, comments, and criticism. So, one thing I'll comment on real quick is there's a file with a whole bunch of screenshots. You might want to remove that in the next release. It's 18 MB, if nothing, that's useful for the player. Are you sure that this is the way back to the steel? <laughs> Now this will only be chapter 1 of quite a few chapters apparently, and the game's supposed to go up to about 20 hours worth at the end. That'll be pretty interesting to check out. But so far this is only chapter 1 created by Decolor himself, so yeah. The last chain game I, I checked out was actually really good, so I have good. I, I have, I'm pretty uh, anticipating a lot from this. Alright. Okay, quick thing to note, I disabled the map saver script because it is the same button I use to toggle my recording. So not a not a problem of course, that doesn't affect the game at all. But that's an interesting script compared to the other map saver script that's out there. The one that was translated from VX. It's a lot more convenient. I'm going to assume those saves are for other people when they start working on the game. Why does the system have an icon? Actually, real quick, can I... Alright. Just to make sure this works out. Because I remember the last Shane game screwing this up. Or at least I think I did. It was a while back since I played that game. Anyway, how am I going to get over there? Alright. We have Blast, Jump Slash, 2 MP, no TP skills apparently. I'll probably disable the animation so that the battles can go by a little bit faster later on. Alright. Disable the animations. I'm pretty much gonna disable the animations anytime I play these types of games because I don't really care about looking at RTP animations anymore at all. You have what? Jump slash art. Right. Okay, wait. Ice Slash doesn't... Oh, okay, that's a fire. For a second there, I was about to say. It was a little weird how one of them had... Could be upgraded while the Slash couldn't, but never mind. Okay.
Okay, cool. Good placement of the poisons. Alright, might as well test some magics. Glad I can see their weaknesses right off the bat. Don't know why Guard, Cover, and Immortal don't have icons. Why is Provoke there? Huh. You can actually provoke an enemy? That's interesting. Hide, HP regain. HP regain shouldn't be there. We don't- I don't use HP regain on an enemy. Nor will I use Immortal on an enemy, or Guard, or Cover. You're gonna have to kinda clean this up and put only the statuses that I am going to use. Like, you know, Stun, Poison, Paralyze, or Unique Ones. And you'll have to limit it to the amount that can be placed right here. Excluding the ones that always work, like a, a stun that will always work on bosses or whatnot. Anyway, I'm gonna skip this battle because I already fought these guys. Alright, I turned off my testing mode because I forgot that I had that running and I don't want to get healed by pressing the F7 button. Oh, and I went all the way there for nothing. Okay, that's great. Oh, you son of a bitch. Crafty, crafty motherfucker. Alright. Yeah, there are the clones. Okay, I, I kind of said this in the last playthrough of my Black Moon Prophecies. The best way to fix that is to just turn all of the characters into the main character, and then play the event like it, like normal, and then after the event fade out, and then switch the characters back to the original sprite and fade back in. This way the player can use whatever sprite they like. Like say I like a certain sprite more than the main character, I can use that sprite. It also doesn't limit you to always using the main character because what if I don't like the main character? Then I don't have to play as him slash her if I want to set up my party differently or whatnot and don't have to worry about screwing up cutscenes like that. I don't really like games that uh, try to fix this bug by just locking the main character in this one slot because of reasons I've already said. Huh. Is it- am I gonna get a scan ability? Oh no, you've already told me the weaknesses. Okay. Fire eyes. Awesome. Get a shim. Son of a bitch. Oh, okay, I see. Gonna have to get a fire. Alright, I learned the rest of their abilities. Now I just need to get jump slash. I don't think this gonna be terribly useful at the moment. I should actually go around back to the ferry real quick. Because I don't want something bad to happen. The mapping's pretty good. Fire, ice, uh... Pretty good setup. Alright. 
Blast? Hmm, that's interesting. Might as well try out that. Don't think I used it yet. A combat log would actually be pretty nice for this type of battle system. Because I completely forgot what abilities I used. Okay, fire. Why does the fairy respond right here? Why don't she go over there once I talk to her with a switch? I don't know, it's kind of bothersome that I have to wait for her to move back over there every time I want to pass by. Oh well. Save again, so obsessive. Now I can finally get the speedy banana. Let's see what that does. Oops. There we go. Well, you already had something equipped. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I'd rather have that than defense at the moment. Let's hope I don't regret that. Well, that's weird. Oops. I kinda wish that animation would go by a little bit faster. I remember a game that just takes me to the save point and then plays an animation and doesn't slow me down. I would appreciate that more than not more than waiting a little bit. Especially since I'm going to save a million times before this demo is over. Stones. This event really doesn't need to repeat itself after I do it twice. Or once, never mind.
Hmm, that's a weird sprite considering his... Uh, never mind. It actually fits. Oops. Shouldn't be able to skip that fast. Whatever. Burn. I really don't give a crap. Holy crap. Guess I'm gonna guess I'm supposed to die for this fight. Actually, actually doesn't really make that much sense. Maybe he just hit really hard. Slow, so I don't have to worry too much about not getting any heal off in time. But he does so much damage. Thankfully, he doesn't have too much HP, so I should I should have this. The hell? Yeah, I would definitely add a combat log. I know some people would be like, that's why you should have slow animations for your game so players can think a little bit more, bitch, please. There are times when strategy does not exist in battles like this, and those are the times when I just want to tell the developer that their battles should be a lot faster with the freak. Because that that's what turns me off of games like this, the battles just way too slow. Thankfully, oh my god. Thankfully, there's a game that's suffer from that. Do I have a better heal spell? Not really. Back to where I was, pretty much. Basically, every time I go below 200, I'll use a potion. And this ability. This ability you just don't want to fuck around with. Defend, and... Actually, what does that do again? No. For a second there, I thought that increased my... HP or whatnot. I mean, my stats. My attack power or something like that. It doesn't matter. Holy crap, you know what? I really don't need you. I got this guy. I'm going to assume I don't get experience though if I die. Maybe it would have been a good idea for me to switch this formation so it doesn't look so silly. Oh well. Why is, she, why is she invisible? I mean, it's not like she doesn't have a dead animation. Well, that's a nice effect with the water.
your name here. Yeah, I know that's a placeholder. I'm just being a bastard. Wow, I moved to Big Boys so. though. Oh, there's my TP. Finally. Steel Gold, well that's interesting. Or a guard. in the ferry. And I should mention that I'm not trying too hard to find typos, mostly because I'm not terribly great at it, and I don't want to slow up the video too much. Is there a way for that fire to not clip through the fireplace like it is right now? I'm talking about that upper tile near the top of the wall. If you could like make that above the player so it doesn't do that, that'd be nice. Try to figure out if I will be able to review this or not. It's not really giving me a whole lot of material besides the actual let's play in and of itself. But I guess it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Don't know if I'll rate it star-wise, since I don't really like rating demos.
Alright. Double attack, triple attack. That's interesting. Okay, so I guess that's gonna be the main collectible of the game. Now what I wanna know is will these say will this save be able to work once the next demo is released? I'll have to be a bit more careful since I don't want to waste points. But that triple slash is definitely something I'm going to have to get. Though it'll kind of make double slash useless unless there's a cooldown. But I digress. There's a fairy up ahead, so I don't really have to worry about the poison, antidote... Do I still have my helmet? Yeah, I do. Good. That's exo GP. That's kind of weird and out of character, but whatever. So, that's interesting. Put by characters was the magic pendants. I also bought a few status element cures. Time to adventure. A zombie mixed with a fly. What type of fly is this? A green bee? Why is Green Bee working with a zombie? That's odd. Oh, and did I never remove that poison? Or did that fairy never heal that crap? Well, that's not a problem right now. I'll worry about that later. Now I know the... Poison was used by one of the monsters I faced, okay. 
thankfully... Huh, never mind. I assume that's not from the trash itself, but who knows. I definitely need to be a tad more careful about the battles, so I don't use so much magic or money. I could use it the gab script. Glad they dropped the antidotes when I die. That's nice. Now I gotta go get that treasure chest. What does this say? Uh... Oh, well, shit. My R isn't something I'm gonna want right now. That's nice. I didn't read the last gap that popped up on the screen. I'm going to assume that he says something about this not being the way to go. At least I don't think it is. I just want to find some treasure at the moment. Alright, well that is my question. Okay, so now that that's done. I also bought a few ethers. What do they call this game? Yeah, alright. Just want to make sure. Alright, so far there's a lot of events coming up. Not too sure how long this demo is going to be. I know the entire game itself is going to be pretty large, but we'll see. That's unfortunate. I'll have to keep that in mind for when I get a character that's, that's a mage. And I should go buy some skills. Alright, both of the characters got their magic, and I also managed to get double attack for both of them. I want to save up for triple, but I don't have the time for that crap right now. That's pretty cool. I like the mapping going on. Alright, I'm about to find that B. Gotta skip back over to where I needed to use that world jelly on the ferry. I appreciate how the enemies don't chase me around. I mean, that sounds like a great idea when you think when you want to look for a script. The enemies chasing around the player when they get too close to them, but it can be annoying a lot of the time. More than not, I'd rather have the enemies just run around randomly, or at the very least, some enemies chase me down around mid-game as a as a gimmick or something of that sort. Because I remember playing Star Stallion Prince and hated the fact that enemies would move so quickly around the really small maps. And the enemies were really hard, so... yeah. Well, that's unfortunate.
Man, I can't wait until I get triple attack. That shit will be so powerful. Holy crap, they screwed me up. So far, the difficulty is pretty good. Time to start testing out some spells. Hmm. All right, now we're gonna have to run all the way back to the temple. I'll do that off camera, of course. Oh, this looks interesting. This is a smart Tree Major 3 music, apparently. It is kind of weird how these guys are following me around in this abandoned and very dangerous ruins, but I digress. Alright, well... Trying to figure out how much grinding I'll need to do. Well, grinding not being a very good word, but how much fighting I'll need to do to, to make sure I'm not under level with a boss. That would be good if double attack wasn't the strongest attack I got in the moment. This is pretty nice. Hmm. That was a lot more simple than I thought it would be. Thought it had to be some type of order. Oh well. And also, the great thing about double attack is that once I get a provoke spell, double attack will be almighty. Assuming that the provoke spell works on most enemies. Yeah, that wait time I have to go through just to save is gonna get on my nerves. That's pretty fancy mapping right there. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot about this.
Where am I gonna find those gloves? Ooh, the treasure chest. Gotta get that. How much of an upgrade will this be? Okay. Not worried about magic. You might want to consider putting a cooldown on double slash triple attack. That shit is cray cray. Awesome. Damn it. Now can I move this forward and no. Okay. Why can I use this in the menu screen? Also, same thing with this. Yeah, I skipped that. It, it's just, it is, it's actually quite easy, it just takes time, so. I'll show them on camera if they uh, actually pose a real challenge. That's not saying I don't appreciate the puzzle in and of itself. It was pretty fun. Okay. Is there nothing about this from being? I guess I'm gonna have to get all three of these boulders there before doing that puzzle. I mean, I guess one could say that this is just busy work. I have no problem with it, but meh. I mean, one thing that I have to say is that if a puzzle is way too difficult, I'll... I'll get really frustrated. I really hate extremely annoying slash tedious puzzles. These, they, they don't take that long. And they're pretty enjoyable. But if they get too difficult, that's when I start having a problem. And I completely forgot I had that key. Unless this is where my part been in. Nope, okay. Yeah, I, I really don't care for games that have t extremely difficult puzzles. It's not my thing. Because I'll keep this on camera for the sake of it. What are the yellow things for? Glad it could be enough room to maneuver these in multiple directions to figure the puzzle out. I'm just gonna skip to the main room. It's kinda silly how I can't toggle these while on the buttons themselves. Like I, like I can't sit on the buttons and move the boulders. I got stuck on camera and it was kind of hilarious. Okay, quick heal. I go save point real quick. Holy crap. I don't think I have enough to buy any skills.
ice and fire. Okay, back to the elemental rotations. Though double tech is still actually no, never mind. Double tech, double tech's power comes to play when I'm only fighting one enemy. Actually. That might pose a bit of an issue. Oh, you're nice. I forgot about that. And now I'm just getting sloppy. And you have no magic. Okay. This music is way too peaceful for this fight. I like how they died by their element. So this place was never corrupted? That's interesting. That felt too easy. Yep, okay. Okay. Uh, you have enough for a double attack. Why did your... You didn't have a portrait before, why do you have a portrait now? Holy crap, why do you keep tagging Oswald? Thank you for giving me the double attack bonus, but Jesus. Freeze. Huh. Holy crap. No, 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 no. Hopefully I'm lucky and she'll start attacking Rich. Or not. I was way too careless for that, but whatever. You know, whatever. I give no craps. And then I die, of course. <laughs>
I should be able to use these in battle. So I tried to poison her, and apparently when I, when I put poison on a boss, it removes itself and places a nerfed poison. That's pretty interesting, so I can't get a super poison effect on a boss with a whole lot of HP. That's pretty, that's pretty smart, I like that. I am not a huge fan of how I had to go through that entire cutscene and fight the boss again, but that's not a huge, that's not a problem actually, because I, I was being playing pretty stupidly. Anyway, I'm going to skip ahead until her HP is around 50%. Alright, I almost got her. I really love the difficulty. Back to humanity. I know it. Alright, now I wonder, have you already mapped that place? Because I always love going through RM cities. My last playthrough of Blackman Prophecies, that was an amazing city. So I look forward to playing this. Now I know there was a place where I could use my boulder. Okay. I'm not going to bother going back. Too far south because I know there was another place that I could get something with my gloves. The problem is that I'm just too lazy. Where the hell is it? Okay, here we go. I know that face set is very Bishonin-ish, but it's so weird that she has that look on her, even though it fits the sprite. They'll all accept it. I guess that's the problem with RTB in general, since it's used in, in uh, other ways from other games. You expect it to be used in a certain way, and then it's just kind of weird when it isn't. Don't want to do that. No, 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 no. What is the new enemy in this place? And I did not want to do that. 
There is a Yin Fly script that makes it so that you can't skip your combat turn. If you go too far to the right, you might want to download that. Don't remember the name of it though. You know what, give me a second. It's called Yin Fly Battle Command List. What it does is it allows you to make custom commands, but most importantly it allows you to not skip your turn by going too far to the right. So that might be nice. Oh crap. You know what, I'm not fighting these guys right now. I'll worry about that when I'm not as stupid. In hindsight, that wasn't a really good idea. Oh well. These, these really should have icons. wondering why those guys are following me around. I think I should follow a restraint order, especially on a stupid fairy. Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna send that to town. The game gives me no reason to not go that way. Oh, hi, Ralph. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. I was really wanting to see what the city looks like. Okay, well. Don't know if I'll have enough imp- Ooh, what do you say? I don't think I really care that much. Uh, I don't know if I'll have enough enough information to really write a review on this, but I'll tell you what I feel so far. S music is uh, pretty normal. I I'm not too sure where you got the music, but it does its job. It's nothing nothing too special. It's not making me rock out or anything. Graphics are really good. You did really great for the RTP, but there is a problem I want to talk about later. Gameplay is also really good for RTP. I like I like the difficulty. The difficulty is really nice. I like how challenging it is. Really good use of money. The puzzles do have promise. And I, I like the characters. The story... Uh cliche but the thing is I know where you're going with it you're kind of you're kind of going for a tales of type of thing we don't know what I mean by that the series of games called tales of tales of graces tales of symphonia start off really cliche and then they end up de deconstructing subverting tropes and making the game really original by mid to eight end game and that's cool but the problem is that when I start off I kind of want something special something unique just to make sure I know where the story is going. Not too unique to the point of alienation, but at least something to make me really care about something. Right now it's just, it's very, very standard. But that's where, that's your note there. It, it, it's really going to come into effect on Chapter 2. If Chapter 2 or 3 don't introduce some interesting story elements, start deconstructing or subverting or doing whatever to some of the cliche tropes that's going on at the moment, you're going to have a bit of a problem with your story. But until then, it's okay. My main problem with the game is not exactly with the game itself, but with kind of a burnout. Since I've been playing... I really, I really, I'm really curious how you're going to pull this off, but I digress. Since I've been playing a whole lot of RPG Maker games, I've kind of got in a little burned out on them. And this is why I haven't really been making a whole lot of videos, because even though there are a whole lot of games like this that are really well made and use RTP really well with a whole lot of confidence. 
The problem is that I've just played so many of them that when I see a game with all this RTP and RTP skills like double attack, triple attack, and stuff like that, it's really not too special. So I'm hoping that later chapters will start introducing some gimmicks other than the puzzles themselves that will make it a little bit more interesting. Maybe some extra edits to the graphics. Don't rely on RTP all the time. If, if you're going to go for RTP the entire way through the game, we might have a bit of a problem. I'm not asking for something ridiculous like, you know, Final Fantasy graphics later on. Now I'm talking about something that flows well with the RTP, but isn't RTP, you know what I mean? Uh, it's about making this game a little bit more unique as the game passes on. Kind of going back to the whole tales of, you start off pretty simple, and then later on you really gotta start introducing some unique and complex or unique mechanics other than making the game good. Because the last chain game was actually really good. And it was a good size. This shade game is going to be a lot more serious, quote unquote. It's going to be about a 20 hour game, and despite the fact that I have a bit of a problem with 20 hour, with really, really long games, you're going to have to be a bit careful about that, because even if it is really large and really well made, if there's nothing too special about it, it's just going to be a really, it's just going to be an above average RPG American game. And, and the people who are going to play that are really going to be the people who have been playing RPG Maker for a long time, like I have, who already seen all these tropes used in 10 other RPG Maker games of noticeable quality, at least 4 stars worth. Because right now, it's starting to feel like a like a 2.0 of the last chain game, so you're gonna have to be a bit careful about that. Though I think I remember that game being a little bit more silly compared to this one which had its own charm. This one, there's no, there's no real jokes or anything. The storyline isn't really, didn't hook me at all at the moment. So it's kind of, I'm just meh at the moment. Anyway, chapter two is definitely, chapter two and three is definitely where the game needs to put a hook into the player and try to really start making the game find its core demographic or what have you. Like, you can't just rely on competent game development, you know what I mean? Anyway, if I had to rate this game, I would probably rate it, the demo, I would rate it a 3.5 for the sake of... For the sake of it being really well made. Just nothing special. Anyway, I'm gonna call it. Thank you for watching, I hope this helps. And thank you for requesting this deck killer. Hope you liked the video. Goodbye, good luck, have fun. Hope to see what this game looks like when it's done, and I hope the best for the future installments and future game developers working on this project. I will definitely be subscribed to this, of course. Just remember to get rid of that file with all of the screenshots that's like 18 MB, because I know people will have an issue with that.